Hi everybody, my name is Brittany of Britsy Thrift. I'm a reseller on Poshmark and today I'm back with another thrifted haul for you. Starting with this hat. So I only paid a dollar for this hat and I just thought it would be really nice for the sun because I go for a lot of walks with my dog and my son and I figure we're probably going to be going to the beach pretty soon. So I just thought it would be a good investment and I like the colors. Isn't it cute? It's just very neutral, very protective. So I found these aerosols. They're very pretty. It's like a croc floral print. There are these cage sandals. I really don't think that the person who donated them wore them like hardly ever because the insides look great too. They're in a size nine. Just really pretty, really cute sandals. And I picked them up for $4.50 because our prices at our thrift store just went up about 30 cents. So just a little bit more, but nothing to, you know, knock me off my, off my rails. <sighs> I'm excited about this. I love this. Okay, this is J. Crew size 28, and this is the Demi Boot Crop. I looked these up, and somebody, like, these actually sell for like 100 bucks. That is awesome. There's the Distressed Hem. They've got a button fly, and these are called the 9-inch Billy. Here it is. I've sold Demi Crop before. I mean, not Demi Crop. I've sold the Demi Boot Cut before, and they sold pretty quickly. This, for some reason, looks newer to me because the other ones, I don't think that they had this huge lettering. So maybe this is like a newer label or something, but... Again, when I searched up comps, these were an excellent pickup. This is a New with Tags Banana Republic Premium Denim. This is a size 31 in a high-rise relaxed taper. So I just thought this was really cool because they've got like these wider legs and it's a, a larger size and it's New with Tags. This was a brand that I added to my bolo list a long time ago. I'm not really sure if it's really performing well. Um, when I looked up comps, it kind of looked like it was all over where some were just like blah and then other ones were really good. So this is called Gurin Brothers. This is a size medium, I believe, and it's a mix of paper, straw, and cotton. Um, I thought it was a good pickup. That's pretty cute. I like the bow tie, but when I, I look at the top, like I can see, you know, like all this, all these picks in the material. However, by it being like straw or whatever, I don't know, maybe you can't really see it that good because if you're wearing it, you're only seeing like what's around here and you're seeing that really cute little bow. So um, I paid, I believe, $2 for it and I think I'll still be able to flip it. Naf naf, never heard of it. These are for me, actually, they've got like a little faux leather trim. I don't really care about it. I was just looking for another pair of jeans. Um, got a little cuff there. These look like they would fit me. They are a size four. The other pair that I bought, one fits really good. They're both skinny jeans and, um, one's a 25 and one's a 26. And I, I, like, they fit fine in the waist, but one pair was a super skinny style, which I don't like because it was cutting off circulation. Like, I don't mind skinny. I like skinny jeans, but not super skinny. Like, that's way too tight. So I bought these just to kind of redeem myself. This is a new with tags J Crew men's size 36 by 34 relaxed fit tan pair of pants. I just grabbed them because they were new. And they're J Crew. And I like to sell J Crew. This was in the $2 bin. Yeah, because it went up to $1.99. It was $1.69, so it came up to $1.81 after tax. Now I think it comes up to like $2.13 or something, but it's still a really good deal. So this is Kappa. And it's a size large. I have sold this brand before in women's. I do still have a men's jacket that's been hanging around for like way too long. But one way to spot it would be like you see these ladies. They're sitting back to back. That's like their logo. And they usually have it printed on their stuff somewhere. But this is a pretty cool jacket. I like the colors. It's full zip. And I just thought it was a nice pickup for $2. Um, maybe I'll have luck with selling this one also. I sold the other one for like 40 bucks. so. <gasps> okay. <laughs> this is the thing that I'm like so, my gosh, okay. Oh, I had such a good day. This is the thing that blew my mind, right? So I'm in there shopping 
there's other resellers in there tick, tick, ticking away. And I'm like, you know, keeping my distance, kind of trying to like, you know, give my own myself some space, some personal space. And I went through the pants section and I, I was like, I saw the, I saw the label and I was like, okay, that's, that's not what I think it is. That's the other one that you always find. Um, what is it at Target? Uh, who, what, where? Something like that. Who, what, where? And so when I saw this label, I was like, yeah, it's who, what, where, isn't it? It's who, what, where? No, this is We Wore What, which is very different. Um, the Target brand, Who, What, Where, is actually pretty affordable, but We Wore What is a Revolve brand, I do believe. And this is in a size large. And then I started noticing that like the buttons had some plastic on it and I was like you're kidding me it's not is it yes it is this is a new tags we wore what original price $195 pair of gray overalls I am so excited I'm like not only did I just find one of my bolo brands but it is new with tags like at that point I was just standing there like mic drop anything else can happen on this trip I do not care. This right here just made my day and I was like, I can leave right now. I could so leave right now and be satisfied. Of course, I did not because I was like, I'm going to keep shopping and see if there's any more. But this just totally made my day. They are a skinny gray overall, new tags. We wore what? And I only paid $4.50 for it. Can you believe that? Like that's, I'm so, this made my day. So thank you to whoever, whoever donated it. Thank you so much. The next thing that I picked up, I think another reseller put this back. And I, I'm pretty sure I know why. Like, she, I can, I can follow her train of thought. You know, I've never heard of this before. It's called uh, Genuine Country Road Workwear. This is 100% pure new wool, size large. But I love these colors. Look at that. It's a jacket. Possibly a shacket. But I would just call it a jacket. I love those colors that is so beautiful they look like leaves in the fall and I think the reason the other reseller put it back was because it has like a little bit of like a beginning of a moth hole here and I think I saw another one somewhere else but still I was like if this is the regular price this is coming home with me look at that the quilted lining it's beautiful and it was this was actually the regular price of five dollars and twenty four cents and it really reminds me of this Duluth Trading Company um, jacket that I sold a while ago for like $100. So yeah, this was definitely a good pickup. I love this. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not keeping it for myself, but yeah, I, I would definitely love to wear this. Oh yeah, I can see where it's got like the flowing, but that, you're not going to see that. That's on the inside of the arm like the part that's going to face your body. So I think this is why the other reseller probably put it back, but that doesn't bother me at all. This is a beautiful jacket, and I'm going to find it a new home. This is gorgeous. Okay, I don't know what it's going to take for me to stop picking this up, but here it goes again. Carhartt. This is a size large, um, rugged flex, relaxed fit, just a button-down shirt, kind of like a flannel. Or no, it's not quite a flannel. This is more just like a regular button-down shirt. I think the other one I picked up was a flannel. But because it's men's, it's in good condition. I like the colors. I think it's also very fall-esque. Seems like I've been preparing for the fall for a long time now, like unintentionally. I keep picking things up with these pretty brown, green, orangey kind of colors, like rust and stuff. And I'm like, gosh, I hope my closet just sets on fire come back to school fall I'm hoping fingers crossed but I picked this up again because it's men's it's in a large great condition and I just think that it's a nice shirt so I don't know maybe 25 for it Carhartt doesn't sell very well for me but when I see stuff like this I'm like I know the functionality is there it's just a nice basic this is the other one that I grabbed this is thicker so this is more like a flannel and it is also a large, it's not like the Rugged Flex, it says Original Fit. But again, with those pretty fall colors, nice button-down shirt, just, just a nice men's shirt. Another nice men's shirt, this is Untuck It. 
used to be very popular. Um, I think the hype kind of faded once I got to it, but still with this size, this is a size 3X and it's 100% linen. It's a button down blue, sort of like a chambray uh, shirt. I decided to go on and pick it up because ultimately linen does very well and it's in a plus size. So that's great. This was new with tag um, logo by Lori Goldstein and it's a size large. So it was in the $2 bin. I paid $1.81 for it, the older pricing. Kind of plain, but by it being a large, pretty pink, new with tags, I just decided to grab it and, you know, the cost was so cheap. So I've sold it before, but it's not the fastest mover for me. This is called Nux. It's a size medium. Uh, I think it's a medium. Is it a medium? Yeah, it's a medium. And it's in this bubblegum pink. I've never heard of it, but the comps looked okay. It's ribbed and it's also got sort of like this little frilly scallop ruffle hem here. I don't have much luck with this brand, but it's spiritual, gangster, size medium, large. I like the sunshine yellow. It's got like this micro um, corduroy or micro ribbing. So I grabbed that. Then I came across somebody's uh, Athleta collection. So this is Athleta size 12, and it's a newer label because it actually has the style name on it. This is the Cabo Linen Textured 4-inch Short in blue. So I thought that might be a good pickup. Even though I don't have that, that great a luck with selling shorts, still, I give it my best shot, so... We'll see how this goes. It's also got like this really cute little cargo pocket here. That's cool. Okay, so funny. I found a Reformation skirt um, for the first time. I was really excited about it. And then like I went to this thrift store and then bam, I was like, okay, what's going on? Because anytime I start to find something, I, I tend to think that that must mean that it's on its way out. It's not as popular anymore, but I grabbed it anyway because it was in the $2 bin. So this is Reformation, size small. It's just this... Uh, I went back and forth. I was like, is this a kid's top? Because this is very small. But then I realized, I was like, it could be a women's, like it could be a women's crop. But it is pretty small. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to try to do some research and find out. New with tag, Wild Fable. Not something that I would pick up. Um, this is, I believe, a Target brand. But it was new with tags and it's plus size. So it said, it's a size 14, 3 inch inseam, super high rise, curvy shorts. And it's a button fly. Only $2. I've never heard of this brand before, but caught my attention. It's called Kindle Lane. I think when I searched comps, a bunch of sweaters came up. So I don't know how it's going to do, but I thought the waist was pretty cute. Sort of like a high rise paper bag sort of waist. And again, I was buying all the other shorts and things for $2. So I just threw it in. Here is another piece from the other person that donated the Athleta, I'm sure. Um, another size 12. This is the Cabo Linen 4-inch short. The other one was like a textured 4-inch short, I think. But these are lighter blue, kind of a little chambray. They have a cargo pocket, just like the other one. So that's cool. Again, $2. Let's just try. Another Athleta, not a pair of shorts, but this is called the Ultimate Stash 2 7-8 Tight. Um, in a size medium. So again, a newer piece because it does have the style written on the tag. It's got a, a few fuzz balls on it, but I can get that off no problem. It's also got a waistband pocket, so that's cool. I like that. And it's got these pockets here on the side. And it's just a pretty sort of purple pink. Here's an Under Armour. I don't just go out picking up on Under Armour, but this is pretty cute. I almost kind of wanted to keep it for myself, but I don't quite think that it's going to fit. But I just love this paint splatter. Um, it's a size. It's a smaller size. I was kind of wondering if it was kids. It's a medium semi. It's a medium semi fitted. Just a pullover pink hoodie. But mainly what got me was that I like that it's sort of like a tie dye paint splatter on the hood and on the logo. So again, $2, I grabbed it. This mountain is forming here. By the way, my um, 
my thrift store is actually starting to do away with their plastic bags so if you haven't already considered it you may want to get a reusable bag when you go shopping if you know your store is moving into that because I feel kind of nuts like when I'm walking out like sometimes I'll just tell them like okay I got a bunch of stuff I can drape it over my arm don't use your bags because like they have like the little bitty bags and everything and I'm like okay I'll just take it but it feels crazy walking out of the thrift store where like everybody can see like oh she bought like tons of stuff and I'm like hauling it all to the car so get yourself a reusable bag and just take it with you okay so we're gonna do some shoes I found some Sorel boots these I was moving a little too fast to notice a flaw, but maybe it'll be okay. So here's some Sorel boots. That's the bottoms. I think this is a seven or a seven and a half. The flaw on both is that the back heel is worn. So like it's still, um, it's almost like if you put tape there, <laughs> I'm not recommending that you put tape there, you know, but maybe if you know how to sew or something, you can like sew it back. I don't know. But like, it, it's like this on both heels where like the inner lining at the heel is like cut in there. So these say that they are waterproof. I don't think that lining would be, would affect like the waterproof part. But anyway, I missed that. I was kind of going really fast and I had intended, like I had a bunch of stuff and I think I was going to go to the register, check out, and then come back and take a look around some more so I wouldn't have to carry it all. So I saw these on my on my way out and they were not marked up. So I was like, oh sure, yeah, so I'll just throw it in. And I just, I totally missed that, but that's okay. Because I think they are still a good quality pair of boots. And I'm sure from the same person, she donated another pair. So these are also Sorel waterproof boots they're duck boots i love that pretty olive green and look no flawing on the inside i know you can't see in there it's dark but just a cute little lace-up pair of boots these are um what did i say seven seven and a half and i think the other pair are the same so two pairs of sorel boots not marked up i only paid what did i pay i can't remember the new boot price the old one was like 5.99 so like i don't know it was probably like 650 six i don't know six something here's a pair of bdg is that it no urban outfitters yeah this is urban outfitters pair of sandals really cute with like the puffy puff here and they're striped and i just think that the person did not wear them because they're like new on the bottom um this is a size 10 actually so by them being in such good condition i was like you know i think i will take those um, these are for me. I've never heard of this brand before, but I just thought that they were so cute. These are called Dunes, and they were super comfortable when I tried them on in the store. So they've got like a hidden wedge here, but they're this faux fur boot, and the person didn't wear them. So um, they fit me very well, size eight and a half. I'm an eight and a half to a nine, but usually I don't really like suede boots like this because I'm like, oh, they get, you know, dirty so fast. But when I put my feet in them, they were so relaxing, like that that wedge inside and like the, the soft, fluffy stuff here, it, it just, it was like, it was totally comforting my foot. So for only like six bucks, I went on and grabbed them because I just thought they, they were really nice boots. Um, this is outside of my normal realm of clothing, but I grabbed it. Somebody actually donated all of their little girl's, like, I think she had like a palace or something. And because they were bringing out like a whole Barbie doll house and just everything that a little girl could imagine. And like I grabbed this just because I, I thought it was kind of cool. It says so ASMR like you can put slime. It's slime, but like it comes with these things, I think. So you can kind of mix it and make some some cool sounds. Um, I do listen to ASMR at night to help me sleep. And if you don't know what that is, it's just um all you have to do is type in ASMR and there are a lot of people that do like sounds, noises, certain things like if you like white noise or if you like gum chewing or crackling or anything you can think of, somebody has made an ASMR video on it and it's super soothing and it helps me go out just like a light. So um, that's why I grabbed it. It's called Fidget Slime Mix-Ins and I only paid $3.99 for it, so $4. I don't know how much it costs in the store, but since it was new in the pack... I grabbed it. I've seen these in Walmart. So this is also from that person's donation. Okay, she's gorgeous. Is she not? 
she is so gorgeous these are called rainbow divas and i see them for like 40 bucks in the store at walmart the only thing that's been open on this one are the hair accessories which they so very nicely put in a ziploc bag and kept it with the box but everything else the outfit the shoes all of that has been not touched so i paid seven dollars and fifty cents for this again they're usually like forty dollars in the store i just thought it was super cool part of it is like the little girl in me was like "Ooh, that's pretty but it's not for me but like you know i figured if i'm gonna try to sell something outside of clothing then let me just try this so here she is i think this is called the melanie is it meline or melanie lux i'm not sure the name is right up there but yeah she is just so pretty look at that dress beautiful sing it girl this is why i always end up going back to a store if i know i've had a good look at it recently like i always try to give them a couple of days to get out all of one person's donation Previously, I found a I See by Connie K top. So this is another one that came out the next time I went to go look at that store. And it's a size large. And it comes with a scarf. Very pretty. Got that metallic in there. And it is a zip front. So it's kind of like a jacket blouse there. And I like the waves the texture super pretty I see by Connie K is a very good brand to resell it usually in the past it's gone for like $75 for me for like a top I've got a couple of jackets that I have listed and I'm pretty sure those, those are gonna go soon too but um yeah it is definitely a good brand it usually catches my attention because of the bright red label it's almost like how Spanx can catch your attention but that's what it looks like there was a lot of Loft and Ann Taylor that had been donated, new with tags, and I was like, okay, I'm trying to slow up on the Loft because I'm thinking Ann Taylor is the one that sells a little better. So this one was new with tags, Ann Taylor Petite. It is a size 8 Petite. It's got its tag. Original price is $108. It's got this tag as well, but it's just a gray pencil skirt. So I, I grabbed that, um, only $4.50. Here's the one that kind of threw me for a loop. Because if you look at it, I mean, it grabbed my attention because of the print. Okay, it's a beautiful print. Look at that. It's got zebras, right? It's long sleeve. Very pretty, very colorful. There was no label here. It just caught my attention because of the print. So I realized that it's actually got a tag down here at the bottom and it's new with tags so this is called burry co and i was like okay this must be some i don't know inexpensive brand because honestly when i feel it it feels like shein it feels like fashion nova it feels like one of those uh pretty little thing you know it you know that feel of like it's not that expensive that's what it feels like but when i check the comps I was like, excuse me, because it was showing that these sell like for $200 or so. And I was like, what are you talking about? So I'm still kind of, this is an experiment. I've never heard of it, but I'm just, you know, I'm just trying it. But if I actually could sell this for like a lot of money like that, like $200, that would be pretty amazing. Now, granted, it does have like a little bit of a mark here, probably from storage. I'm wondering if I should try to get that out, if I should just disclose it. But yeah, it, it definitely doesn't feel like a $200 dress. But when I looked at the comps, it was, and I looked at the tag, new, new with tag comps, the same tag that I see down here. It was up there so we're gonna give this a go I don't know but stay tuned and see and then again with the Old Navy new attack plus size this is a size 2XL and it's just this uh, nice really pretty knit ribbed long sleeve gray sweater with a cow neck or a crew neck so I grabbed that because I'm expecting that hopefully when the weather gets colder I will have the same look with the plus size new tag old navy sweaters as i did with the plus size old navy new tag dresses which has been very good 
Lastly, I picked up this Bowden skirt. I think this is a linen blend. So, uh, yellow dot. I, I don't know. I can't remember what's the newest one. I've seen pink. I've seen blue. I've seen yellow. So, I don't know which how old this is. But there it is. And this is a size US8R. I just thought it was really pretty. Look at that. It's a geo print. Kind of floral. And I like the different colors. The yellow, the blue, and the pink and everything. Pretty good size. So I grabbed it and I think probably about $25 I'll be able to get out of this at least. If not, like maybe, I don't know, $35, $40 if I wanted to push it. But in my mind, I'm thinking at the lowest probably $25. So, okay, so that's it for my haul. I had so much fun. Like I so want to go shopping again, but um, I need to get this stuff listed. I need to get it listed. So Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.